Which I'm joined by Dennis Mullenberg. He's the president and CEO of Boeing Defense Space and Security. He joins us from St. Louis. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. And uh, I got to ask you off the top, uh, given the d delays with the Dreamliner, other problems at Boeing, how big a win is this for you guys right now? Well, Peter, it's good to be with you this morning. This is a big win for Boeing, and I think even more importantly, this is a really important step for our Air Force customer. Uh, this new tanker program is of the highest priority, and uh, we're ready to deliver this uh, new tanker to our servicemen and women. There are some here in Washington who say this is strictly politics. You all won because it's Boeing's an American company. EADS lost because it's a European supplier. Uh, what do you make of that argument? Yeah, Peter, I would say that uh, we very much focused on the Air Force's requirements, and uh, we won because we provided the best combination of capability for our warfighters and best value for our taxpayers. And uh, overall, we're providing a tanker that's uh, leading-edge technology, provides combat-ready uh, capability for the U.S. Air Force, and also provides overall lowest uh, life cycle cost uh, for the taxpayer. Do you expect a challenge from EADS? I can't comment on what our competitor might do, but uh, we have a great deal of confidence in our bid, and uh, we are very much looking forward to supporting the Air Force and moving out quickly with this important program. What do you make of the argument that we've heard from analysts and others that there was a lot more riding on this contract than just this one plane for Boeing? Had EADS prevailed here, this was a toehold for them in the U.S. market, not just for this tanker, but perhaps cargo aircraft, ultimately maybe making commercial airliners here in the U.S. Is that, was that a realistic concern? I think this is a very important strategic win for Boeing. Uh, we really brought uh, the total Boeing company to the table here, a real what we call one Boeing approach, uh, taking the best of our commercial airplane business and the best of our defense business and bringing that together for the company or for the, cu for the uh, customer. And that's a really important thing for our country. And I, I think overall we're really focused on the fact that this is the U.S. Air Force's number one priority. And uh, we're going to stay focused on getting this capability delivered to our warfighters. A $35 billion contract, some suggest it could be ultimately worth $100 billion. What is this going to mean to Boeing's bottom line? Well, overall, this is certainly going to uh, help our growth pr prospects going forward. This is uh, important business for Boeing. Uh, this will further strengthen uh, our 767 commercial aircraft line. And this also adds another important element to our defense portfolio. Uh, but again, most importantly, it's, it's uh, an opportunity for us to work closely with our Air Force customer and continue to build on that strong relationship and the fact that we put a lot of pride and, and a lot of focus into providing the absolute best capability for our servicemen and women. Our viewers have been seeing an animation showing the Boeing plane as it would be, uh, as it will look in the future. One of the cases, uh, one of the points EADS made consistently is that their plane exists right now, at least a version of it, flying in Australia, for example. Yours is still an idea on paper. Uh, why, again, uh, should your plane have prevailed over theirs if that's the case? They're further along than you are. And we've, we've provided a design that's focused on meeting all of the Air Force's requirements designed specifically uh, for this program. It's built on the proven uh, 767 basic airframe with technology upgrades to meet the latest U.S. Air Force requirements. It leverages some of our 787 cockpit technology, provides a new fly-by-wire boom capability. Really important to us that we're providing leading-edge uh, technology for the Air Force but building on an airframe that's proven, that's been in service for decades, and is shown to be very fuel efficient, reliable, and maintainable in the field. Let me ask you about the defense business overall. Again, we've uh, talked about the, the Dreamliner, some of the problems there. That gets so much attention, obviously deservedly so, at Boeing. Tell me what you think the defense part of the business is going to mean for Boeing going forward. Can it be a growing uh, part of the business uh, overall? And we do expect to see growth in our defense business. Certainly right now it's a challenging environment and we see uh, flat defense budgets here in the U.S. Uh, we do see opportunities for growth in some of our international defense markets and uh, we're working around the globe uh, to capture some of that growth. And uh, we've known that this uh, flat budget in the U.S. Has, has been coming for some time, so we've begun to reposition our business while we intend to continue to grow our core defense business, also moving into new areas like uh, cybersecurity, uh, unmanned systems, and other venues where we see additional growth. But uh, in the long term, we expect to have a strong and growing uh, defense business. All right. Dennis Mullenberg is the CEO of uh, Boeing's defense uh, programs. Thanks for the time.